In this tutorial, we're going to uh, work on the Cairo tiling or the Cairo tessellation, and I'm going to show you how you can use the Mesh Plus plugin uh, to easily produce these patterns. As you can see, uh, you can define the division on the surface, which in this case is a flat one, and we can change the pattern by changing the T uh, parameters. So this is a great example of how Mesh Plus plugin can help you uh, to produce this uh, pattern and it's really an easy tutorial so be sure to watch the video till the end. Okay to start from scratch what we want to do is to go into the Rhino interface and let's just go to the surface. I'm going to use a rectangular surface. You can just produce any surface you want but to make it easy I'm going to make a rectangular surface and use this vertical to make it vertical, okay? Uh, I'm going to use the shift key to make the ortho direction and bring it up and assume that this is the surface we're going to work on, okay? Uh, let me just put the bifocus plugin so you can see what I'm doing and in the params menu, uh, what we want to do is to pick up the surface. So I'm going to use this surface, right click on it and set it to the surface and we can just turn this off by hiding the object and now uh, before we start you have to install the mesh plus plugin so you can put the plugin into the file special folder and into the user object folder and when you just restart your Rhino and Grasshopper you will have an, a mesh plus here and here in the make section uh, there is the Cairo tiling. So the first one is the Cairo tiling and beware that the make section is all about surfaces so you have to give this a surface which is a nerve surface and when you give it to this and let's just turn this off uh, you can see that the pattern just emerged on the surface. There is a UV division that's really easy I'm going to start from 1 to maybe 12 and give it to the U and control C, control V, give it to the V, and we can control the number of the patterns. Okay. Uh, the next one is the evaluate or the T, and it's a number between 0 and 1. Let's just give this a number, and here you can see that it's going to change the pattern. So the Cairo tiling is really easy. You give the surface, you give the division, and by changing the T, uh, you can produce the pattern. The output is a mesh, which we will have here. The next part is to go to the Beaverbird plugin. So you have to install the Beaverbird plugin. And here, what I want to use is to go to the transform and go with the Beaverbird picture frame and also the Beaverbird mesh window. Okay, you can use these two things to give a thickness to this mesh. So I'm going to connect this mesh to this section. And as you can see here, this is not a uniform. Uh, thickness. So I'm going to go to the insert type, right click and select the parallelogram on the both inputs and give it a small number. It's based on your project but it's a small number so maybe 1.2. I'm going to give that to the distance and by changing this you can see it's going to give it a thickness. Uh, the next part is to give thickness to this frame. So I'm going to go to the mesh thicken uh, components and give it to the output of this frame and let's give it a distance and you can see that I can give this a thickness that's it and now we can bake this into layer one maybe and bake this one into layer two and close the grasshopper interface here you can see how easy it is to produce that windows and frames by this Cairo tiling, Cairo tessellation. And by using the Mesh Plus plugin, you can simply just produce this a pattern. It's a great one. And also, if you want to learn how this pattern can be written from scratch in Grasshopper without a plugin, uh, you can enroll in our course. We have this lesson in our course also, which I explain how to produce this, this pattern, dispatching these things and uh, help you to model this in Grasshopper from scratch till the end. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video. What do you think about the Cairo tiling? Uh, is it useful for you? And see you next time.